Well, check this out. The James Webb Space Telescope is the biggest and most advanced telescope the world has ever seen. NASA launched the telescope last Christmas with the opportunity for astronomers and scientists all over the world to study what's beyond the universe. Our Brittany Moncrief spoke with the telescope's program director and a University of Memphis professor headed into outer space to conduct some research on the telescope. The possibilities for discoveries are endless when it comes to the James Webb Space Telescope. Where do we come from? Are we alone? How do galaxies form? It's an exciting time in science and the world, and we're taking a closer look at the research being done right here in our own backyard. Gregory Robinson and Francisco Muller Sanchez have never met before, but what makes them a team? And lift off floats one million miles away from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful space telescope that we have ever built. I call this the, the world's telescope. Gregory Robinson is the James Webb Space Telescope program director and now one of Time 100's most influential people. I came on just over four years ago, March of 2018. At the time, we were having some, some issues, just getting it over the goal line, getting it to launch. But after 20 years of development, the James Webb Telescope launched Christmas Day 2021. It's gonna allow us to look back more than 13 and a half billion years uh, which still blows your mind. Going further than any telescope with better resolution and images, James Webb will give insight to galaxies, stars, planets, and possibly life beyond the Milky Way. The telescope is extremely complex. It's too big to sit inside of a rocket fairing, so we had to fold it up kind of origami style. But now the big challenge is deploying all of that stuff in space. Certainly relieved uh, by the whole team. A team that now includes University of Memphis assistant professor Francisco Muller Sanchez. Out of more than a thousand proposals from around the world, Sanchez was one of about 250 astronomers and researchers awarded time slots on James Webb for two research projects. When I received the news, I was very happy that day I couldn't work. <laughs> Sanchez will be studying supermassive black holes. Black hole is a region in space where the force of gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it, not even light. The sun, our star, if it was a black hole, it would be the size of the campus of the University of Memphis. We've never done anything like this uh, in the world. So it shows what a team can do when it really pulls together. A stellar team developing knowledge for light years to come. Astronomers are expecting that uh, our view of the universe is going to change thanks to James Webb. Most of us, maybe the whole world, would never look at the sky the same in the future. The James Webb Telescope has enough fuel to last at least 20 years. And on July 12th, NASA will show the first images from the telescope. 